Yep, Lazarus mod. What it does and how it looks. Well, first map, it shows some random models. Not very random, of course. This one is interesting because it's transparent. Nice. Like in the first quake, there was a one dancing. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I, if someone want to make a... That's me. If, so, if someone wants to make a breakdance party, <laughs> it's pretty doable. But I think it's doable in other and uh, mods as well. I'm not sure. But it looks awesome. Okay. Let's go for another one. The effects map. Let's turn on everything. A lot of explosions. And many particle effects. Pretty loud. And this looks like electricity. And this one. Oh, I like those. Magical. And some steam. And the other stuff. And uh, electricity again. Well, this one is nice force field that takes some energy and you can switch it off and a little flying spark more effects okay let's go for another one this thing is well known I think water metal water air <laughs> um, earth oh this is metal grass snow and this spaceship Pretty nice. Four elements, I think more. Another one. Oh, that's interesting. Pickups. I can't take this, but I can't go through this key and I can't take it. But I can destroy it. Oh, I can't go through this. But I can destroy it. Yes. Flying weapons like in Quake 3 without any boxes underneath. That's inter interesting. And this is this is just simply cool. Okay, let's go for another one. Rotations. Okay. For someone who is advanced in map making, it's nothing special. Funks train and one can rotate things around, but this is a forklift. It's not just a box, it's a forklift with spinning wheels. So, oh, let's go again. I forgot about the um, flying, yeah, flying ships around. The one will fall here, so let's go away. And there is another forklift, and I believe I can fly. Okay, nothing special. 
just a rotation within rotation nevertheless pretty advanced oh okay let's go for another one hmm and this is a random spawning and a shredder so random stuff goes here which is um, nice I'm not sure if it's very useful but it's nice can I destroy it? yes and this one as well and him? yep can I destroy everything? oh that's something new Oh, I have no weapon. Anyway, another one. Hmm. Nice map. Uh, okay. Take it. It does nothing. Another random spawner. But this is interesting. I have many uh, destination points and one teleport that works randomly. This is very useful, especially for a deathmatch. It can introduce some randomness into the game. Hmm. I like it very much. Let's go for another one. Okay, I've got this. And now let's go for a god mode and some weapons. Hello. Smarter enemies. Are they really smarter? Is it necessary? Let's see what's what. Okay, so now they will fight with each other. And there is uh, our friendo. Yeah. Friendly tank. I wish to have many hundreds or many thousands of those on one map and to see what will happen when they fight with each other. What's there? Okay. Help him. Wake him up. And here and whatever. Smarter, smarter enemies. I'm not sure we need them. Yes, this is something absolutely amazing. A fog. And, and how it looks underwater. My god. That's cool. This one reminds me uh, first Tomb Raider. There was a clear water underneath, but this is very, very old technique, I believe, and it looks, it brings old memories. Oh, this piece, well, it floats. Huh. Magic. So, fog is great. There was the one brown. Uh, trigger, okay, so I can have it and, and I can lose it. Delay 15. Now it goes away. That's sweet. That's really nice. 
Anyway, let's go for another one. Okay, lights. I can switch them off. And here as well with some action and you can switch them on which is very nice mm, let's go for another one we that's something new I can move this piece oopsie here or maybe I can move this piece there and oh I can stop it nice and I can use it to fly so pendulum and this one can be switched on and off go closer and like so hmm Another one. Oh yes, this is where Lazarus shines. A mirror in a quake too. And some people w were saying that it is impossible. But look at me. <laughs> it can be done. And I can pick up stuff here and I can destroy this barrel, go inside and go here. Sweet. Let's go for another one. So tell me, isn't it mind blowing? Quake 2 with uh, full mirror effects. Magical. Just beautiful. And I can see myself. What, what, what about this floor out there? Weird. But how it was made? Well, let's go through and now we can see that we have two or maybe even three separate rooms, symmetrical. <laughs> so in any, in any case, it is possible to make, to make a mirror just it takes a lot of space <laughs> let's go for another one this is something I love a rain and the real one it falls here and there it's not just a wall of moving texture it's a rain it can be switched off and on and here we have a snow and it's real and every piece is different more or less so great and here we have some thunders Can I see one? Hey. Yeah, there was one. And in a, a sinkhole to make it more believable. It's not over. Here we have a tree and falling leaves. Isn't it sweet? It looks like a I just need a uh, hobbit uh, for a friend here, so... Mmm, hobbiton, right? 
Anyway. Great, great job. Let's go for another one. Oh, I need God. God, yes, God will be useful. Because when I use this, it shoots my enemies and they are running away. Oopsie. Oh shit! Have you seen this? It was, it was running in circles. It's just unbelievable. A laser. Well, this one shoots at me, so I don't want this. Uh, give all. Yes. And now I can resolve my problem. Now, there is a pea shooter that shoots around the track. Which is nice, but it's not mind blowing. And there is a homing missile shooter, and though missiles can fly in circles, and I can't destroy it. And here we have few lasers, which is nice. Well, let's go for another one. I need God, yes. My little friend, though. Okay, let. Oopsie, I didn't want to. Go, go, get them. Yeah, that's my friend, though. No, oh, he's dead. Give. No. No, no, I don't want to take anything, because I have something. Okay. Oops. Uh, okay, so for, for demonstration purposes, I am invincible. Oh. Yes. And... Go away. And there is something like TV screen. And another one that go away. That I can control and shoot stuff. And can I jump to another one? I'm not sure. I can't shoot from this one. What the? In any case, I can destroy them and I can use them <laughs> like in a Duke Nukem. Not this one, the other one. God damn it. How can I jump to the next? I have no idea. I'm not sure if it's possible. Okay, next map. This is simple and easy. Uh, we have some tremors and rocks can take some energy from me and they fall randomly. Nice effect. And this stuff jumps away. Okay, that's nice. Let's go for another one. Oh, this looks awesome. And we have D-Day, Normandy. Yep. Can I shoot it? I need 
to take this guard from here and now I'm in control of this beautiful weapon it's not very fast but I have homing missiles and I don't need to try really hard to shoot something yes that's me okay let's go for another one Whee! I know that I need to switch on this piece and now hmm that's a nice piece of work and now I can go here press this one hmm it reminds me something it looks like a half-life forward okay down magnets up and left and I have to stack many many pieces like this to get up anyway a crane that goes left right up down whatever so let's go for another one. Oh, we have floating boxes hmm what can I do with it I can push it and then I can use it as a protection against lasers deadly lasers of course only if I mark it properly in time okay that should be enough now press here it goes up now it goes into the water it floats like in a half-life and <laughs> in any case another map let's say that I went through this laser thing and now I can I can go here to go here I have to switch the electricity on I don't have time for it let's say I'm here I have the key so I can go down so I can go here and look for a switch oh let let there be a light hmm oh I need to push this button with a with a crate. Oh yes, Tom Rider. No more nor less. It's here. Now I can go here. Can go take a forklift and go there. Take this box. Like so. Now jump on it. God damn it. Up. I'm here and go down. And the number is four zero zero nine. Thank you. Now I need to make four zero zero nine. 
Oops. Power on. Okay. That's what I needed. Now the crane will be operational. And... And now I can go there and put those crates on in here and when I put enough I can break this le leader and go through these doors and this is the end of the chapter let's go for another one this is something else this is a half-life in a full swing let's take a good mode give all and now I have enough tools to play with this dude. Wait for me. God damn it. Oh. Yes. Great memories. Comes back to me. And does it work like in a half life? It seems so. I just have to. Mm. And go right. Yes, it does. Go forward. What's there? An elevator. Pretty well known future. So I'm going here. Okay, let's go for another one. Um, mm -hmm. Just, oh, I need the power cube. Oh, yes. Give all. There is a power cube. And now it's operational. And God. Oh, there was a power cube up there. In any case, it's a half-life. Uh, it was made on a Quake 2 engine, so I think that the man that was making this, this Adam, he was, he was captured by steam crew so this is the end there is no more surprises here I think that this piece can convince anyone who have any doubt in the quake 2 that this is one of the greatest games ever made so signing off